This is Fiery's Candy Bar Adventure, one of the first pieces of BFDI media and even predates BFDI 1, and was also the first BFDI video game, which if you somehow didn't realize, is the topic of today's video. But before we get to that, I work really hard on my content, and the best thing you can do to support me is clicking the like and subscribe buttons, as well as hitting the bell icon to get notified when I post this game and all the other games I cover in this video were made using Flash, which means you can't play them anymore, so this video was created to give you insight on all of them. The game begins as Fiery walks through a field and finds a bar of Himshays, which is a spoof of the Hershey's brand of chocolate, and after failing to remove the wrap, yeah! goes to find Match and is given three options, looking for her at the pond, the bank, or the mountains, since the game was never completed, the only option that works is the mountain. Fiery walks up the mountain and gets chased down by a boulder, which is actually just a Rico Lord version of Snowball's asset at the time, and after a bit, the game just crashes. Here's a not so fun fact, the voice Fiery has in this game isn't actually voiced by Michael Huang like it is now. Leafy, I'm sorry for what I did. Some BFDI fans have managed to track down the origins of his voice, and it originates from freesound.org, and that sound effect is actually of someone taking a dump. In all seriousness though, this is a pretty simple point and click game similar to the Henry Stickman franchise, although the game was never completed, there have been some fan recreations that have attempted to fill in the blanks like this one that has all the endings, as for the rankings, I'll give this game a solid 7 out of 10, make sure to also post your rankings in the comments, let's move on to the next one. The next game is called Woody's Incredible Journey to the Escape from Eternal Terror, or Witch Defet for short, as the official website states, this game was given to someone called Los MMORPG by the creators of BFDI as a birthday gift. It's a Frogger-like game where you play as Woody and have to direct him from a frightening crash site to an oasis of peace, while other BFDI characters try to hunt you down. Apart from its incredible graphics, this game's main mechanic is the jump button that lets you move two tiles forward to the direction you're staring to that allows you to pass certain obstacles like this tree and also these rocks on the water later on, and after passing Passing through the coastlines, you get to the scary free zone and win the game. Victory! Let's get back to the enemies I've mentioned earlier. Fiery is a pretty fast enemy that doesn't directly attempt to attack Woody. Pin is the slowest character. She doesn't appear a lot and directly attempts to hurt Woody. Bubble, like Fiery, doesn't try to hurt Woody. The only difference between her and Fiery is that Bubble's slower. And Blocky is extremely overpowered. Being fast targets Woody and spawns very commonly. While this game was only meant to be physically given to Los MMORPG, Jack and Jellify dumped the game on their site a couple years later, and with that, some data miners found some unused enemies for the game. They consist of, Glue Stick of Frustration, Pointy Pencil of Doom, Unlucky Coin of Confusion, Strange Rectangle of Chaos, Bob the Wizard, the Demon, and Robert. But overall, this game honestly sucks. For the rankings, this is the first flop, I'm rating it a 3 out of 10. It's very bad compared to the other games on this list, so let's move on to something better shall we? Get to the top although there is no top is a game largely inspired by Icy Tower where you play as this yellow stick figure and try to get as high as possible until you die. While at first glance this might not look like a BFDI game, it was actually featured in BFDI 12. This game is pretty basic, but where it really shines is all of its variations because there are a lot of them, and I mean a lot, and one of these is the Battle for Dream Island version that lets you play as the original 21 characters, and you can also play as Circle from Shape War. Just for the variations alone, I'll give it a 5. The next game is BFDIA 5B, the missing section of the five-part episode, where the Huang brothers wanted to get creative and make the episode a game instead of a video. The game takes place right after BFDIA 5A, where Evil Leafy ate free smart. I'm gonna give you a brief recap of the game but if you wanna know more about it, watch the video I've made just about the game. You start off from book's perspective where you spawn in a red area and have to traverse through a cave to get to this green factory area where you can find the first team member match which you can use to boost yourself up obstacles. 
obstacles and such. Later on the gang gets to this purple area and is where they find the remains of the recovery center. It's been cut into two pieces, one side is the cranking side and the other is the dispenser. They later find a house that is said to be the home of the recommended characters that got eaten by Evil Leafy. The notable new characters we meet are Toon, Waffle, and Lego Brick, which is the only non-free smart member we add to our party. But later on betrays us and throws us down his evil underground dungeon, which is also where you find Ice Cube, and after a bit of levels, the game ends. Despite the game not being finished, this is still our first 10 out of 10. This is a really hard game, but the puzzles are very creative and unique. But if you don't agree with me, we have some more games to cover so let's continue. The game up next is Tide Pool, or the Tide Pool as the original version is called. According to the help button, this is you. You are a creature who swims in a tide pool. Unfortunately, you have to share your home with other creatures. You decide you must become superior to the other creatures by growing larger than them. This game is inspired by the cell stage from the game Spore. You start off as a small level 1 creature and as you eat more creatures below or equal to your level you grow bigger and is able to eat even bigger things. And a lot of the creatures are based on BFDI like flower, coiny, leafy, spongy, cake, nickel, 4x and melting tennis ball. This game later got a reboot into Tide Pool, with all new graphics, new creatures, and even different modes. The first is the classic set, containing 100 basic enemies, where once again they have some BFDI characters like camera and 8 ball. The second mode is the minimalist, where all of the creatures are just black circles, the labeled version, where all the creatures are labeled as numbers so you won't get confused with a very interesting background color. <coughs> and Uber Evolved where after playing it for about 10 minutes I haven't noticed any difference between this and the classic mode, so if you know tell me in the comments. And 3 modes that never came to be called SOTU Tiny Familiar and Large, while this game was a bit frustrating at some points, it was pretty enjoyable. Overall, I'll give this game a 4 out of 10. During Halloween of 2013, Michael Wong's Halloween BFDI special was the game called The Evil Leafy Maze Game, a game largely inspired by the Slender Man games where you're trapped in an infinite randomly generated maze, while no other than Evil Leafy chases you down, you must stay moving at all costs because the game has no escape, Leafy teleports around the maze and is slightly faster than you so you're gonna get caught eventually, but a tactic to tell if Evil Leafy is near you is to see if your screen flickers, if it does, run for your life. So the goal of the game is just to stay alive as long as possible before Evil Leafy catches up to you. One thing I think the game is very lacking in is that there's absolutely no music at all in the game, which isn't a good idea for a horror game. Carrie mentioned on Twitter how he wanted to add sound to the game, like heavy breathing, bowel movements, and even a 0.1 chance of Evil Leafy screeching you which would be creepy as heck. One cool thing about this game is that you can still play it on your browser, and even on your phone or tablet. Here's the link. Make sure to tell me the score you got if you decide to go play it now. On my first attempt I got a score of 2 minutes 9 seconds, let's see if you can beat me. I'm giving it a 5. This about sums up our video. You've watched until the end which means you've enjoyed it. So please subscribe and like to show support so I can continue making videos. If we can get to 10,000 likes I will make a sequel with even more games. But meanwhile, look at these awesome pieces of fan art you guys sent me. And if you're here for the 5B art competition, results will be posted soon to the Hyper Crystal Junior channel. So go subscribe to it if you don't wanna miss it. See you later.